It's a bull market, but for labor, it's not. You've mentioned productivity as being uh, an, a conundrum. Uh, for us, they cut costs. Which, what does that do to our productivity, and how does that benefit America? Well, the irony is that they've been cutting costs, yet actually, as you know, productivity growth has been actually declining. Yep. And not just a U.S. phenomenon. The last five years, productivity growth globally has been coming down. I think this is an issue that's coming up, I think, in a big way, I think, in the policy circle in terms of how do you address that. And this is, is a big issue for the market because the market has to basically price in the terminal Fed funds, right? This is assuming the Fed store hiking rates in yeah, September, the question the, is. The well, heart of this, Brendan, is FedEx was a well-run company yep. three years ago. They didn't cut costs then. Yep. And now they're coming in with a vengeance. I mean, that's the new new. And now they're coming after the other new new, of course, <coughs> that they're, they're they're looking for regulatory approval to uh, to to acquire uh, TNT, uh, the other uh, the delivery service. But um, so the thing that I wanted to point out about though with this productivity excuse me, productivity argument that David Wu is bringing up. There's an, something else caught my eye. June 16th, here's a news item on the terminal: Amazon considering crowdsourced delivery program. Uh, FedEx. Uh, so, so that to me is that's the real problem for FedEx potentially long term. Is that that's an, and it's, if Amazon, if anyone can do it, Amazon can pull that off. No, absolutely. I think there's no question. Everybody's trying to find that technological edge right now, like you know, delivering basically whatever using drone airplanes to deliver your goods, that kind of thing. Yeah. But that's also telling you to what extent. Like you know, we all know EPS is barely going up for S and P 500 this yeah. year. So from that point of view, companies right now they're trying to basically. Borrow money to basically buy back stocks and yeah. really help boost their EPS. Other than that, they're trying to basically find more scope for cut costs. But I mean, it, I mean, FedEx is an amazing way to move things around. If you own the airplanes, uh, hire the workers uh, and own the trucks. What if you don't hire the workers, own the airplanes, or hire the or own the trucks? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think if you actually, by the way, look at our weekly trucking surveys, if you look at the weekly railroad data, believe it or not, there is no semblance of any recovery going on in the U.S. right now. Yeah. That's so a I think, statement. Absolutely. absolutely. So if you look at the logistics of broader economy right now, it looks like we're in the basically 2% economy rather than the 3% yeah. economy, consistent with the Fed well, hiking rates. Some of the cross currents, and of course, FedEx out in the next hour uh, as well. Maybe we'll see some cut uh, layoffs there.